Hi and welcome to my channel Be You Now. Today I'm doing a weekly reading for the Aries Collective for the 14th to the 20th of August. This is a general reading so um, please be mindful. Place the gender roles and energy where they belong and um, as energy is fluid. If you're new to my world, welcome. Thank you so much for being with me here today. I do Aries readings daily. So hit that notification bell and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a thing. I also do one card pools, which is in the short section of my channel. And there's always something fun and fabulous happening in the communities tab. Now, if you'd like to book a private reading, donate to my channel or follow me on social media. All the information is in the description box. I'm going to start with the overall energy. So this is a weekly reading. It is a general reading just need to mention that this is not a private reading so please take what resonates and leave the rest as i said there's so many readings on my channel that if a reading doesn't resonate just um head to the videos tab there might be something that is more suitable for you and your circumstance so let's see what's your overall energy for this week wow this is huge Aries. Your readings recently are so powerful and so profound. They leave me speechless. So we start off with the mag, mega, mega, mega tower. So this week, something is coming to a close. Cleanse. The word cleanse, purification is coming through. So as I'm looking at this card, the tower moment, I know that the tower moment can seem very... Um, it can seem very scary because of the way that the card looks but what spirit is saying is that this is a purification it's a cleansing of what does not serve now this could be a mental cleanse for some of you that's something that was keeping you anxious worried restless for, some, for others of you i feel like this could also be at a physical level so basically health wise although this is not a health reading i'm feeling like this it's almost like you're cutting out. Say, for example, if uh, if you know that you've been consuming too much sugar, I'll just use sugar as an example. Um, and you're like, no, I am having too many soft drinks, too many chocolates, lollies, whatever the case may be. And I need to put a stop to that because I can feel that my energy is actually getting sluggish as opposed to being uplifted. Um, for others of you, this could literally be stripping away, moving, you know, it could be to do with house, home, relationship even where there, there is basically a need to disconnect completely and start again. So that's what the tower, it's almost like you, I'm feeling this energy of liberation and freedom. It was like, I'm getting this energy for somebody. This is very specific, may not resonate for everybody. Basically the energy I'm picking up for somebody is that you really tried, you tried everything that was in your power to, um, get through and pass this situation but for whatever reason you just couldn't and spirit has intervened and just basically said right this is taking too long we need you to do bigger better things so we're just going to help you and that's why this tower has arrived so it says a sudden revelation that offers freedom break free from procrastination embrace the opportunities that change brings so yeah massive change coming through this week what i love though is that we have the six of wands right next to the tower so whatever this tower is it's actually victorious so um i know it sounds a bit silly to say that how is this going to be victorious but this is going to result in a major shift that's going to lead to victory success this is my card for success and victory right here the six of um six of wands and you've had the six of wands appear a few times aries in your reading so i really feel that this and this this month august is very very powerful and profound for you on a number of different fronts whether you're looking for a job whether it's in terms of relationship whether it's you basically giving yourself a major upgrade makeover um, i'm just really getting this sense that somebody all of a sudden is feeling bold confident and courageous and you haven't felt like this for a long period of time it's almost like a pick me up in the energy levels let me know in comments if this is resonating but the six of wands we know it says congratulations you've done a wonderful job time to move on to the next project awards scholarships promotions i definitely feel that if you're looking for promotion if you're looking to get a scholarship even a job this is going to be a very very powerful week for you very very um successful week so if you haven't been gaining momentum this week is going to almost bring everything together what I love is also the King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups has also been featuring quite a lot in the Aries readings. There are two messages that are coming through. So say 
if this tower moment was to do with the relationship that you were in and now you're no longer in that relationship connection could be even with family it doesn't always have to be romantic take whatever resonates that's going to result in you connecting with people that are more deeply and emotionally connected with where you are at in your life it's almost like these connections friendships relationships that are going to be opening up as a result of the six of wands and the tower it it's what you feel an um, energetic match to it just feels easy and effortless that's the energy i'm picking up for some of you this could also be love so if you're looking for love king of cups the ultimate king for love where we know that so when i look at this combination right here you know with the six of um, wands and the king of cups to me th this can be love energy for some of you but even in terms of career like this is such a great energy if you are looking for work and your boss now is someone that embodies the king of cups so say you were in a toxic work environment again tower moment and now you are working with people and have people around you it doesn't have to be immediate boss could be even people around you that you connect with at a deeper level and you feel like they understand you there is none of that drama that used to drain you before so say in a job situation you know if you left a toxic environment this is a environment where you will feel understood people are kind they're understanding you'll have more of a balance i'm feeling a real sense of balance calm energy temperance type energy so if before it was all toxic back stab stabbing and backbiting and gossip and all that's so a drama office politics you know if you have an office job all that's going to change with the king of cups so it says yes it is safe to trust the ability to accomplish many things at once follow your creative passion so i also love this this combination again if you if you want to start your own business or have a creative venture that you want to pursue this is great energy for that as well because this this combination here means you will get victory and success in whatever it is that your creative endeavor is so i'm going to pull some keeper before i move on if you're new to my will i'll also do business career finance and love in this reading so do stay till the end then i'll also be pulling some oracle cards so message for aries thoughts so be mindful of your thoughts um this week and see what is there anything else for this week 14 to the 20th of august for aries anything else no so thoughts just be mindful of your thoughts um aries this week um make sure that your thoughts are not overtaking your ability to do do create be sometimes you know it's our thoughts that stop us or it starts to create these stories about fear doubt it all happens from our mind our mind is so powerful so watch your thoughts watch what you're thinking and make sure that it's not blocking and stopping you from achieving your truth and desire so now i'm going to move on to money career finances so this is if you if you're looking for work if you have a business see let's see what's the message for aries this week What's the message for Aries week of the 14th to the 20th of August is flipped right out. Wow. Anything else? Yep. I love this, that this card has popped out. So at the top of the deck, we have growth. So I'm just going to pop that there. Um, the first card we have is profits. So this is going to be a very profitable um profitable week for you let's clarify what we need to know in terms of profits but i like this growth and profits to me it's a up and up and up so profits could also mean you might get a bonus you you know in australia very soon or companies start to give bonuses because we had a financial year on the 30 june so you know maybe you're getting a bonus maybe you have your own business and you you are making profits and now you can see the fruits of your labor you can see the actual growth of all the efforts that you've put in so let's see what do we have for aries collective regarding profits what does aries need to know regarding profits please spirit clarifying profits that's too many profits lots of cards want to come out all right so this is this is like balance energy when i see the queen queen of swords clarifying profits profits to me is about you know your sales your expenses your revenue so now you can see what is the actual cream after you've paid your expenses after you've paid all your staff you know your marketing um staff staff cleaning whatever you know website all the things that you need 
than what is left for you even after paying yourself so i like this queen of swords energy wow so for some of you these profits relate to something it could even be investment with the harfin card because the harfin is all about when i think of the harfin it's all structure it's traditional so say for example you have investments at the bank or maybe you have an asset that's appreciated and you're getting profits maybe you're selling a house and you're making a big profit from selling your house that could also be the case it doesn't always have to come from work or business necessarily it's still abundance and money and wealth so this is or maybe even if you're not selling your house you value your house and you you get surprised that it's risen in value so much so these two cards to me is you know this is something to do with where you have structure so it could be your business could be even from your work you get a promotion um or you get a bonus for really doing a good job and for some of you this could be something that you have started and is to do with your own idea so maybe you've come up with an idea could even be at work could be your own business as well because ace of swords this is about inspiration this is about ideas this is a new beginning so say you started your own business now you can start as i said at the start even before looking at all this that your fruits of your labor is coming through then we have boss energy i'm a big fan of boss energy aries is emperor right big boss vibes this is why aries by nature are leaders they're naturally born leaders because that's just innate in our in our being so let's clarify what's this boss for aries what does aries need to know regarding boss i'm picking up leadership positions promotion for some of you queen of cups so we have the king i love this we have the king of cups here so we now have in your reading complete different decks we have the king and the queen of cups so this could be also divine counterpart um but with the queen of cups coming up with the um with the boss card to me this is about you being your own boss about something that you love so maybe you have started your own business a side hustle or you know etsy store youtube channel whatever the case may be or you're going viral on tiktok you've become your own boss and it's emotionally not only are you working for yourself but it's emotionally deeply fulfilling you and you're feeling really really happy and overflowing and as a result it's translating into other areas of your life as well the other two cards i have is the king of swords and the the knight of wands now so this this is how these cards came out so we had the king of swords in the middle so in this context you might be working with someone who is king of swords energy um but you've also got the queen of cups so this could be you've got king king and queen of swords king and queen of cups now in this reading so there's a lot of divine counterpart energy but if you're working here to me this is like you this could also mean that you've now established systems because the king of swords is all about you know um i see that person as legal structure you know very logical maybe you're working with lawyer to make sure that you've got your patents trademarks maybe that's what you need for your business um or maybe you are getting some legislation approval if that's what you need for your business take what resonates but here i feel this is something that's very exciting something that you're very very passionate about with the queen of cups and the knight of um with this energy here i definitely feel that for a lot of you this could be to do with something creative something that fills your cup gives you joy um because it's passion the knight of wands is all about passion creativity so that's the energy that's coming through but there's a lot of um i feel overall this week you there is a real balance between swords and thoughts so your logical mind in terms of thinking about things practicality but at the same time that balance with emotions and how you feeling so there is that real energy now the final card we have is scarcity now i'm going to put that with thoughts so what's your thoughts this week aries because i really feel that this scarcity mindset could really maybe stall or stop your growth because we have the growth card so what do we need to know about scarcity mindset yeah so some of you this could be to do with maybe you have lost lost a job this is very specific it came straight up i have to say it because it just came straight through maybe you lost a job 
and um, now you're feeling at loss in terms of what will happen how will you provide for yourself how will you provide for your family will you have enough you know um, yeah you need to get rid of this I was guided to look at the bottom of the tech deck the ten of cups it didn't come out so I'm gonna put it back in the deck but the ten of cups to get to the ten of cups which is where you want to be you really need to work on your mindset this week if that's something you need help with that's the work I do as a coach and a mentor I work with money business um, so you can email me if that's something that you want all right now I'm going to move to the love part of the reading so what does Aries need to know those that are in love and those that are single message for Aries please message for Aries week of the 14th to the 20th message for Aries Wow so at the top of the deck I have happiness I'm going to leave that there hopefully you can see that um, I'm trying to leave them there so you can claim claim the blessings make sure you claim the blessings in comments whatever it is that you're calling in so the first card we have here is disappointment followed by you deserve better so I'm going to clarify those two together because I felt this energy um, that they were connected and it's about the same thing let's see what comes through and then we also have a message is coming what is really funny is um, funny or not so funny is you deserve better kept coming up in the pre-shuffle so um, and it's definitely shown in the reading so it was interesting that it's um, yeah so we've got the seven of one so this disappointment you deserve better somebody here maybe you're still together with this person this connection and you feel like you you need to maintain firm boundaries you constantly feel disappointed you constantly feel like is this the person for me you really want it to work I'm getting this energy that somebody here really wants something to work but you're constantly feeling let down feeling disappointed I feel this um, energy of sadness that every time you go on a date you try to make things better but it's just not improving and you've got you deserve better card as well so spirit is saying your guidance is stand your ground don't lower your standards don't lower your boundaries anything else anything else for disappointment and you deserve better no nah. let's talk about a message is coming okay so two cards came out a message is coming so this is from someone that maybe you've had an argument or a conflict with this is remember love romance um, this is in context of that and the message that's coming I feel like you are in this hanged one position at the moment maybe you you don't know whether you want to hear from this person but at the moment this person is debating they're like should I shouldn't I should I message Aries what will the what will Aries say to me let's see if there's anything else um, we need to know about this clarify the hangman clarify the hangman please clarifying the hangman no doesn't want to clarify the hangman so maybe there this person is this week thinking at the bottom of the deck yeah so we've got eight of swords at the bottom of the deck so this person is feeling stuck at the moment that's the clarifier the person is feeling stuck which is also the hang one same energy they're feeling stuck they want to come to you with a message I'll use this deck what is the message that this person wants to give to Aries what's this message spirit clarify this message coming towards Aries so the message that they want to say to you is I hid who I really am from you so take it how it resonates for your situation um, this card also wants and this person wants to say we will be together again so this person thinks that they will be, you will be together again now these two could be the same situation it could be separate it depends on where you are on your journey so take what resonates and leave the rest now I'm going to pull some tea leaves for this week for you Aries let's see what's the message for Aries message for Aries whoa message for Aries these two flipped right out anything else for Aries oops anything else for Aries anything else so these fell out first so I'm going to go with that club 
someone will try to make you do something against your will yeah this message that's coming through seems dodgy with the five of wands and the hanged one energy hand in need of help assistance and guidance so if you need help this week ask for help receive help you've got a lot of cup energy so there are a lot Aries that to me is saying that you are surrounded by really good people and really good energy so if you, there is things that you need help with ask for help you will be guided the worst thing is you know being staying stuck you know not helping anybody bread I like this a period of prosperity and abundance yes we've got growth we've got profits we've got um, boss like all the energy here I mean August overall has a very very abundant prosperous and wealthy vibes for Aries and with the 8-8 portal Jupiter in our second house I mean Aries right now is the time to make the mullah the cha-ching you know laugh all the way to the bank um, I'm going to pull <laughs> some cards from the abundance deck now whilst we are on the topic of abundance and um, wealth so please hit the like button if you haven't already that helps me with the algorithms and also helps me to get this message out to other people because that's something I can't control and it costs you nothing if you want me to continue to do these readings that would be great moonlighting I love this um, I had the vibe that that um, second job card was going to come up but it didn't so moonlighting you can start working on your dream career part-time while keeping your other job to pay the bills soon your dream career will take flight and fully support you there you go beautiful message for somebody if you're looking to start your own business and you're wondering whether you'll be able to that's your confirmation um, let's pick some oracle cards is there anything else and if you'd like a personal that's too many if you'd like a personal reading donate to my channel or follow me on social media all the information is in the description box and do hit the notification bell if you haven't already because I do do these readings daily so that way you don't miss a thing two cards want to pop out let's start with the first message bold are we kidding like with the boss energy this is like boss energy all over it says you unleash your adventurous side take risks and be daring Aries does Aries need any encouragement to be bold to take risks? I mean, we are we are risk takers. Risk is our middle name. Then we have White Tara, so sensitivity. That's that cup energy. I like. I have not seen this much cup energy in an Aries reading for a very very long period of time. You've got Divine King and Queen of Cups, King and Queen of Swords. There's a lot happening. A lot of mental energy, a lot of emotional energy. So that balance will be important. You're becoming increasingly sensitive avoid harsh relationships and environments situations and chemicals i mean this is summarizing the tower that we started this reading with so aries this is your reading thank you so much for being here with me today from the bottom of my heart without you these readings would not be possible without your love support truly i would not be able to do this daily so thank you for being here please do hit the like button if you haven't already and do subscribe and come hang out in the communities tab we have a lot of fun there and i truly appreciate you and i will see you next time